This is one of those rare instances where I'm starting a new show that I personally know nothing about. Like, I thought this was the one with the dog, but apparently that's to your eternity. This is a completely different one. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again. I should say back at it. I guess we're starting something new, but we are starting 86 over here. It won the poll over on Patreon. Now, with this being the first episode, the first thing I want you guys to know is if you guys don't know, the first and last episode of every season of every show we watch here on the channel, the full length which is normally exclusively available on Patreon. The uncut, unedited version is available for everyone. Links are in the top of the description. Make sure you go check that out. Come back here for the review when you're done, and if you do can. If you do enjoy that and want to consider keeping that format, uh, maybe check out that Patreon. Great benefits, great community. Come on in, check that out. But we are here with 86. I know nothing about this. Like, literally, I know it is very um, political, I've been told. I've also been told it does not hold your hand. I've been told there are going to be a lot of characters, a lot of dates, a lot of information, and it is on me to in accept it and to embrace it all so i really don't know what to expect because like i said i have no pre prior knowledge prior context going into this this first episode is called undertaker and the next one is called spearhead i don't even know why it's called 86 does it take place in 1986 is it in 2086 i have no idea but i guess with that being said we should probably hop into it and find out what this is all gonna be about uh, if you guys are excited please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below let's hop into this 86 episodes one and two. First one is called undertaker let's do this so definitely modern at the very minimum uh, oh. what the f Fight until you break 86. Was this like Unit Battalion 86? What is this action? This is like the beginning of Vinland Saga where they can just throw you right in. What kind of action? What were those mechanical Gundam Scorpion Spider cannon things? What a start to a show, we can say. Oh, is she is she saluting some flowers? Maybe her father was also in the military, her late father. May 13th, stellar year 2148. You guys, a couple of you guys commented that if if you guys, that it's completely cool for me to pause it in order to catch everything because you guys would rather have me not miss anything. So I'm totally down. I'm gonna try to catch everything I can. So, so far in terms, why does everyone, I should say a vast majority of people have white platinum type hair in san magnolia military that's good no human injuries or fatalities glory to the republic of san magnolia and to the five color flag so they're building this world for us it seemed to be some sort of dystopian future this is more like what i would assume for the military headquarters she seems to take this very seriously. Like I said earlier, I assume due to her family history in the military. This is a crazy looking statue. Annette. So many names. So I need to know world building. I understand where they're coming from. She's the weirdo because they're on the brink of victory. Everything is going great. You know, like... I need to know where... Is this like our Earth? Like it's just in the future? Hmm, I'm so curious. District 1, District 86, all 86 districts. So in terms of just the districts and the ranking off RIP, I immediately get Hunger Games vibes, and there's like a political standpoint in which you're born in the area you live in, you know? The battlefield calls, my lady. That's, that, that statue right there is a dope-ass statue. Okay, so this is like her office, her cubicle. That super reminds me of, like, Code Geass. Is this... Are they, like, the Scouters? Uh, human Lady. Oh, 86. Mm. I see. Yeah, this would be a big responsibility to handle such a good, you know, 
Mm, so there's a lot of pressure, you know, expectations on her. So, yes. So, like I was assuming, it seems as if she has a, such a personal investment in the military due to her father. This is her uncle, Jerome. There's a lot of, um, I don't even know what those are called. You know, you see them a lot of times in exotic names when there's a certain enunciation with a letter. You know, the little things above the letters, there's a lot of these in there. But, so we have Lena. Her actual name is like Vladalina. Then we have Vaklav, which is her dad. Vaklav. Let me know how to pronounce all these names too, by the way, guys. I would much appreciate it. Then you have Uncle Jerome. And I need to get his last name too. I'm sure I'll get that afterwards when I'm during editing. It's the Commander Unit's name, Undertaker, the title of this episode. Really? The processor destroys the handler? Okay. This is a little deep right now. So, talk about pressure. And so now we know that Lena's doing this. I'm trying to get a grasp of the handler's job because uh, you guys were right. This is a lot of information being thrown at me all at once. So it seems as if, because we got a little glimpse of them in action, these drones, the people inside the drones, I guess we can call them the 86ers. But, oh, so I'm trying to get just a grasp on the world and the world building in general. If I had to guess, I would say the people from the lower districts, ergo the 86ers, are like the grunts, the peons, the used for the military, the soldiers. That's why the guy who was giving them commands at the very beginning of the episode was like, hey, I guess you'll die anyway. There's more of them. You know, you're outnumbered, this, that, the other. Go die, 86. Like he sounded like he seemed eager to send people into their deaths. It makes sense with, I guess, the way they're normally treated as 86ers. But Lena, who seems to be very empathetic sympathetic who's going to be treating them very human but the handler's job is to mainly give minimalistic orders just keep control of everything going around kind of like a backup officer but the still the one who's primarily still in charge is the local on the ground commander so we're just kind of like the backup but everyone who's been a handler of this spearhead unit the undertaker has either requested to change units retired or committed suicide dude this is this is a lot this is crazy. That's okay. So, so if officially there are no humans just because they're drones, I would be her. I'd be like, you accepted that job? God damn. I like her so far, Annette. I also really like Lena, though, so far. I can't lie. You're sharing sensory data with someone else? Oh, I didn't realize it was that deep. So you really are synchronizing with someone else. But they're just using it audibly, they said. And Annette's dad was one of the... Mm. <laughs> I like her desktop, too. I like that, looking out for the long term. Hmm. I can tell this is going to be a very emotionally charged story. And I am looking forward to it. Again, that gives me Hunger Games vibes, you know? Where, like, resources are limited. Like, why is that? Is that how the future is going to be like? We can only have artificial eggs and artificial this, that, and the other? So yeah, they seem like good friends. I can already tell I'm going to like these two a lot. Oh, that's a crazy cut back to our present time. That's a crazy cut. Okay. Is this what we hear? Is this the para raid? Oh, so this is... okay. So she's currently a handler, but they're changing her to the spearhead, which was the meeting we got earlier. 
So this is two days after what we just saw. And the bro, this is so creepy. Like the Undertaker say hi to the Reaper for me. Uh, all this death, destruction, and just morally gray. So is this going to be our first synchronization with the spearhead? I love that shot of the ink just slowly, because we're slightly having, oh. What is going on? Talk about a, a difference in living arrangements. Now, this is the only character I'm pretty sure I've seen. Yep, this is the only character I've seen about this show. And so far, he's the only one I've seen that doesn't have white hair. And this is 10 days prior, May 12th. I wonder how many voice actors I'm going to recognize. So far, the animation and the design I'm really liking. This is quite the transition from where we are over the beginning of the episode to now we are where we are now. So many eccentric, outgoing characters. So many bright colors in their hair. Fifth Handler. Oh, so these got to be the 86ers then, huh? Yeah, those are the drones. These have to be the... The non-humans, they say. That's a cute cat. Members of Spearhead. It's breakfast time. This is our unit. This is this is the squad right here. Oh, that's like the statue they have back in... Oh, with Pig right below it. Oh. Wow. I can, you can tell there's a, a hate relationship on both sides. From the 86ers over to one from one of the 86ers. Oh, they even feed the cat, too. Shin. So is Shin the Reaper? Is Shin gonna be the Undertaker? Is he gonna be our link up with our main character, Lena? Ooh, those transitions! From the from that food falling happy times to the act of war is so crazy. And here we are. This is ten days later, back at current time. Bro, warfare would be Especially futuristic warfare. Oh my god. Is that the guy who was like, if I'm gonna die, I don't want to be, you know, guided by a reaper? You gotta put him out of his misery, man. I get it. Man, this was horrible. Just stone face, too. Obviously, you know, it affects him. That's his homie. That's his... He, but... And war, man, you have to be like that. You have to, oh, that's sad. Does he like carve out their their symbol, Cujo? Kind of like a dog tag, like Levi in Attack on Titan would take their patches. You know, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be a very emotional show. And you guys know me, I be getting in my feels. So if you guys be seeing me cry, you guys gotta promise me right now, you guys aren't gonna make fun of me. Till I end my service. Fucking glory to the Spearhead Squadron. Cujo. Ah, uh, Cujo like the dog. That's why it was his name. R.I.P. Cujo. So this is when she... This is when she sinks up in her room. This is their new handler. So she connects to everyone in the whole unit. They're all drawing pictures of pigs. Obviously, they're just joking. They they hate handlers. They hate their whole. I think it's all going to change when it comes to Lena. I can already tell. This story is going to be great. In terms of the dichotomy with the 86ers and the one. Oh, I can tell you this story. Ooh. I got kind of goosebumps right now. I can't lie. All right. On to episode two. This one is called Spearhead. So that was a really good first episode setup. I felt like the world building and for where we are now, really well done. Really well done. Aldric, old man Aldric. <laughs> yep. I see. That's sad. Yeah, I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? <laughs> he is the Undertaker. Like I said, when I watched the opening, I really like his call sign and his logo, you know? Yes. I cannot wait for Lena. Oh, that is a lot of dog tags and a lot of dead soldiers. Wow. That is a lot. And he keeps them all to remember everyone, you know? 
So it's been a week, May 29th. They're on their sixth handler. Okay. You know, that must be a little jarring just having that come in out of nowhere, you know, to have a, a handler talk to you. Okay. Rain's coming. What the hell? That means radar will be down. Two hours. Ooh, that transition's clean. Right into the cannon hole. Okay. So far, seems like a good plan. Ambush, preemptive a strike, kill zone, right in an area which they all know. What the fuck is this? So, they really be using pieces of shit. It makes sense when the Republic doesn't consider them humans, you know? And it's probably most cost efficient. Lena's getting her first take as Undertaker as Shin, I think his name is, as the leader, right? What the hell? I thought we were originally talking about the birds. The Legion is out in forces again. What the hell are these scout type? This is, what are we playing? Horizon Zero Dawn? Dragoon type? Growl Wolves? So they have one like super offensive Berserker type where the rest are like little types. And they have a few tank types as well. Oh, wow. So they're at a huge disadvantage. And then they have this disrupting their communications and everything. Oh, we're about to see some wildness. I can already tell. They're like, all right, guys, typical Tuesday. Let's go to work. I get huge Matrix vibes going against these, like, machines, it seems like. I get huge Hunger Games vibes. All in an anime. Like, what the fuck? How could you go wrong with this show? And these are, like, piece of shit drones. Imagine if this squad, the Spearhead, had, like, actually good equipment. They would be so good. Oh, I can already tell you, this show is going to be fucking nuts. Black Dog, Laughing Fox. Oh my god. All units cease fire and split up. Long Range Gunner? Scorpion? There's already been like five different types already of enemies. Okay. Okay, we got the Undertaker doing his thing as a leader, giving off command to someone else while he's going to do what he does. Okay, first off, that was clean. Right into the... You can't get more direct than that. With the blades right on the legs? This man is so clean with it. <laughs> And the grapple for added mobility? Yes. He is nice with it. <laughs> so, seeing how good they are, like, against odds like this, it seems as if we didn't have any human casualties. So the fact that we lost Kujo and all those lives we've lost so far, they must have been going through a grueling war. This must be hell. There's always a light at the end of it. They're always they're looking forward to the day that don't tell me that was the end of episode two. There's no way, right? Okay, no, that was the opening. Yeah, okay. The Legion. Okay, okay. I was wondering, so our robots, our drones, even though on our reports there's no human casualties because they're filled with 86ers, which is, okay, so I can guarantee watching the show again is going to be even more crazy, knowing the context of later on, rewatching the beginning. I, I love that about certain shows, but the, uh, the kingdom we're going against is, is the, the country or whatever of Giyad, and they're attacking us with their autonomous robots, no human casualties for them actually and it's called the legion which we see they have scouting types disrupting types tank types um wolf types and then like long range scorpions like oh like both sides have a crazy army so the legion like took control oh so that's why we're marking the end of this war as in the legion will shut down 
So we're just fighting them until they shut down. They already took out their own empire. Yeah, what? I respect Lena for having the balls to say this. Really? Really? In over two weeks? Administrative districts. Okay. Alba, it's the name of their race. So, I see. Yeah, that's horrible. It says it right here. They're... Just because it says that. Okay. Okay. So truthfully, you don't know, I guess. Yeah, you, you know. Oh, really? She has been to the battlefield. That is shocking, even just knowing that they're in their little walled-in bubble. It's like the five-colored flag, right? They mentioned in the first episode. Freedom, equality, brotherhood, justice, and nobility. Not even, not even like old, I mean, teenage boys and girls, you know? They don't enjoy entertainment and luxuries. No. I'm surprised Lena has the balls to say this. You could be court-martialed slash silenced for saying stuff like this, you know? Even apart, we look at the same stars. That's a bar right there. May 29th, so it's the same night, but over on their side. One thing I definitely know I'm going to need to get is all the names. But I really like his design. The guy on the left. And I like Shin. Main guy's design. So they're talking about Lena. So far she seems pretty cool. Damn. She made cake. I gotta write down her name too. Anju. Oh, wow. He is nice with it. At least stand up. You're no fun. And this is when Lena... This is when she tunes in. I'd do the same thing. I'd be like, you guys don't give it. You guys don't care. Yeah. She realizes too. But from now on, I'm going to read them. So please actually send them. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Aldrich's like, come over here. I like Lena a lot, but she is, yeah, I get what they're saying. Like, she's so eager, so wanting to get the job done. So, you know, we all have all met new workers like that, you know. Everyone's been here four years. It's been fifth year, five years for him. So once their term is up, they can become a Republic citizen, even though they don't have white hair, really. Interesting symbolism, him stepping into the light, the cat not following, you know? Interesting. I can tell this show is going to be deep, very deep. Well, guys, I just want to let you guys know I did not get even all the notes that I wanted to get, and this is already my notes after two episodes. Like, are you serious? That's actually insane. So, I do completely get what you guys are saying with the time jumps, with knowing where we're at at certain times and the certain perspective. So, it's going to be very needed for me to write down the times and keep up where we're at currently it's may 29th right now 21 48 um 
But in terms of the characters, we have Lena, Annette, Jerome, Shin. Uh, we have Fido, from what I'm trying to get, Anju, Raiden, Kujo, RIP. There's, there's going to be, a, I'm going to need to get all the names for sure, because I can tell we're definitely going to lose 86 members. I'm not saying 86 people, but we're definitely going to lose members of the 86 squadron, and that's going to be so sad, so I want to get as invested and into the characters as I can so it hits me as hard, because you can tell, it was the details and the work was put into this show. Like, it's it gets deep, and I love the already how politically gray it gets, you know? Like, Attack on Titan, like, I love the politics behind it and the, the ethics and the arguments there and the debates that we can have about that all day, which... Like, first off, just from... Did I hear that correctly when um, they were saying the Empire of Giyad, who was seemingly starting a war with us, was wiped out by their own autonomous robots, and then their own autonomous robots are just kind of going crazy now? Is there a human leader at all leading that army, or did I just mishear that? Because they're robots without any support or repairability are going to shut down automatically after six years so we have two years left on this at the time which we were saying i ah, know that was that was that was current we were talking to the recruits because we had already talked to the undertaker at that time so i just this is just crazy we're talking about how many days left we'd have in our service it's it's a due to the war we put all of our what are, what are they called? Albu, white-haired people into these collective 85 districts, and so everyone on the outside is known as the 186 district, and they're just they're evolved pigs. Like that's so I hate all that. The propaganda behind all that is so crazy, so realistic. You know, it reminds me of Attack on Titan, like I said, Avatar: the Last Airbender, and the Fire Nation. Anything where propaganda is real like that, it is scary. But uh, the action, the set pieces, in terms of the drone and the i love how ours are just yeah there's going to be a couple of different types and each one might be a little unique depending on the the driver and how we're how we want and what we want to do but i love how it's pretty much us and our skill and how we're able to ride this thing versus like autonomous robots but they do have different types as well very much resembling of a video game like i said for a horizon forbidden Horizon Zero Dawn. I said Horizon Forbidden West because that one's coming out soon. I still need to play Horizon Zero Dawn. I just know that it's about robots and there's different types of robots and stuff like that. So I love that aspect. I cannot wait to see more crazy fights. I'm, I am I wonder if we're going to see any like boss style Legion members, you know, like the Scorpion, the long range. Those were crazy. But is there going to be something even higher up than that? I have no idea. I can tell though, in terms of the emotional relationship between Lena and Shin and the rest of the 86, this is gonna be an amazing story. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Love the world building, love the political grayness, love our characters and how deep it gets into them so far. That sounded super wrong. But on that note, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, all that jazz. Oh my God, check out that Patreon for early access and full length. The show is gonna be a ride, I can tell. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.